Hi, this video was inspired by the recent upload from a director who's trying to create an IMAX movie of Saturn in his basement. So what I'm presenting here is uh, uh, a piece of software that anyone can download for free online. It's called Celestia. It will run on a PC, uh, an Apple Mac and a Linux based system. It requires a 3D graphics card but not anything spectacular. It will run on pretty much any available 3D graphics card these days. And you can see we're in orbit above Saturn and if we just move the mouse here you'll see very quickly that it's a, an accurate three-dimensional rendition of Saturn that we can interact with so it's quite a spectacular um, solar system simulator not merely a, a, a simple image generator so if we if we zoom in uh, we can see that the, s the rings of Saturn there's a Cassini division and the various rings also cast a shadow on Saturn and Saturn casts a shadow on the rings. This is all accurately simulated, so it's quite an impressive uh, kind of visual uh, representation. But the interesting thing about Saturn is that uh, as the seasons pass, um, just like they pass on the, the Earth, the appearance of the rings can change dramatically, and that's also reflected in the simulation. So if we increase the passage of time here, we're 10,000 times faster than real time. You'll see the moons of Saturn start to spin. You see the days pass on Saturn as Saturn starts to rotate. But we can crank this up even further. So we're now running at a million times faster than real time. Let's go to 10 million times faster than real time. That's the Milky Way in the background that you see there. So we're running 10 million times faster than real time and we can actually see the passage of a of the seasons as a, a year passes on Saturn and the rings change dramatically so we're, it's now winter's approaching in the northern hemisphere or at least the hemisphere at the top half of our screen here and you can see the rings cast this long shadow over the over the top of Saturn this increases the passage of time even more you'll see that as years pass on Saturn, as the seasons pass, you get these very dramatic uh, differences in appearance. And you'll see this if you look at Saturn through a, a high-powered telescope. Uh, the angle that you you see Saturn at or from will also vary depending on our relative orbits. But this is all simulated in in the software here, so you get some pretty spectacular views that are very easy to generate in the software. We're not limited just to planets though, or just to Saturn. Let's go look at um, one of the moons of Saturn and I'm just using a, a very simple GUI here to navigate around and pick pick targets in the solar system so if I click on the moon Titan Titan is interesting because of the potential for organic chemistry you can see there's, there's Saturn in the background Titan in the foreground and it's very easy to set up these very spectacular views and if I increase the passage of time you can see that Saturn, as, as, as Titan orbits Saturn, we're locked to Titan's orbit. You can see that the view changes. Very easy to, to pick really spectacular um, images or to generate really spectacular um, you know, images of, of, of various planets relative to the moons. So let's go pick another, another planet. Let's go and visit Jupiter. As you can see, Jupiter's in here. There's a giant red spot bottom on the bottom left that rotates obviously with the as the days pass on Sat on Jupiter as well. We're just kind of lucky that we happen to stop time at this orientation. So let's go look at Io, which is another moon, uh, uh, as a moon of Jupiter. It's an interesting moon because it's it's very volcanic. It's a very active moon. There it is, and we can silhouette. Io against Jupiter. Now these images that we're looking at, this is just the default data set that comes with Celestial. We can actually enhance this by visiting the website and downloading even more higher resolution data. Other objects that are visible in here, we can go to the Earth. And again it's accurately simulated. There's the this is the nighttime Earth. We're actually looking at it from the nighttime side. If we rotate around to the daylight we'll see that, that we were over America and the Pacific Ocean, now we're coming over Australia let's go see where the moon is
So there's the Earth's moon. Now the interesting thing about this view is we're actually seeing the Earth. There's almost no moon above the Earth at this time in the simulation. That means that if we go around the, the other side, the opposite side of the moon, we can see a, a side of the moon that we don't normally see in real in, uh, from our vantage point here on the Earth. And there is the Earth uh, behind the moon, and we're actually seeing the, the, the back side of the moon that you'd never see from the Earth normally because of the tidal lock. We're not limited to artificial bodies, we can go to, uh, we're not limited to natural bodies, we can go to artificial bodies like the International Space Station and there are more, there's even sci-fi data available for Celestia and you, you can go look at, at uh, this actually hap happens to be orbiting the dark side of the Earth here, the, the night time side of the Earth, but there's the International Space Station accurately in orbit. We're not limited to, uh, you know, the data that is presented in Celestia by default, you you can download sci-fi data, there's even Star Trek information in there if you're really into that kind of thing. There's an active user community that adds all sorts of information. Um, so let's go out and look at another planet. Um, I think uh, Neptune is, is pretty interesting looking. Neptune actually has has a has a cloud structure and it also has a very fine ring structure around it. You can just see it casting a shadow there. I'm not sure if that's going to come across in the video, but it does simulate the rings around Neptune. And you can go visit the space probes that took some of these images. So, for example, we can go visit the Cassini probe. There's the Cassini that took a lot of those images of Saturn, I think. And there's all sorts of other things in here, like um, Eros. Uh, there was a mission to Eros that mapped it in a great deal of detail. This is just an asteroid, but it's also in Celestia. It's kind of a potato-shaped rock. Uh, the reason we know a lot about this is, is there was a mission that ultimately crash-landed at, at the end of its, its successful mission, crash-landed on Eros, or very softly, gently bump-landed on Eros, I guess. And uh, in addition to uh, visualizing the the bodies inside the solar system we can actually visualize bodies outside the solar system so in this case we actually have a a, a galaxy outside of our galaxy which is you know just amazingly uh, amazing at all amazing that we can fly there at all this is m31 or Messier object number catalog object number 31 which are basically nebulous objects that were cataloged um, we can fly back to um, the sun so we'll go back there's the Milky Way we're flying in on our little corner of the Milky Way and we zoomed right in there we can go to pretty much any star that we can pick out in the sky this is a Hipparchus catalog they're all accurate in 3D and if we fly there you'll see the stars kind of move in parallax uh, pretty accurately um, And, and so, you know, you can download this for free and have fun with it. It's, uh, it's quite an amazing piece of software. It models everything from uh, asteroids to, to uh, galaxies. And so let's go back to Saturn, just end with a shot of, of Saturn. I hope you enjoy that. Now, just so that you, you know how to get your hands on this software, here is the... The easiest way to find it is just to type in Celestia in Google. The first link will be the Celestia homepage. And quickly, if we navigate to the homepage, you'll see on the right-hand side, there's a download link. And that will give you downloads for Windows, Mac, Linux, and the code, the source code. If you really want to add enhanced data, you can go to the, the add-ons section, and that will take you to a link to the Celestia mother load. And this is the, the Celestia Motherload website. Uh, there are enhanced data for all sorts of objects in the solar system and even additional objects like, you know, the space shuttle, those kind of things. So let's pick Saturn. So if we, if we go to the... the Saturn link, you can see that there's, there's even higher resolution data available. This is just a screenshot of of what that data looks like if you download it into your your version of Celestia. But you can enhance the data in there, so um, I hope you, you're, uh, 
I hope you go download the Celestia software and have fun with it.